What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Coach Place here guys. As always, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the Coach Place, consider doing so. All right guys, so what is the most important thing when it comes to getting views and getting clicks? It's your YouTube thumbnail for your video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I make my thumbnails and it's quick, it's easy, and it's free. And we're talking about PixArt application. Let's dive in. All right, guys. So, of course, the first thing you're going to need to do is download the PixArt app. Once you get that downloaded, bring it up. Then at the bottom of your screen, you will see a pink plus symbol. Click that. Then at the top, you will select your first image. I'm going to select this cool back background image I got. And then here is the most important step. When you get you an image, you go to Tools, you go to Crop, and then you slide all the way to the far right, and you've got YouTube. That is the perfect settings for a YouTube thumbnail. You will then move or move your image around. You can crop it whichever way you want. I'm going to have it right here in the middle. And that will be the perfect size for a YouTube thumbnail. So they make it easy for you. All right, so for this thumbnail that we made, I'm going to go to the text. I'm going to type how to. I'm going to hit the check mark. And we're going to put it up here in this corner up here. Maybe catty corner it. I think that looks good all right and then we're gonna put the stroke on which is a outside let's make it hot pink and then we're gonna go to shadow put capacity all the way to a hundred and then you can blur it or you cannot blur it I choose not to blur it here and then let's go make a so we just went in another text let's caddy corner that again Let's make an outline. Let's push this up here first. Alrighty. I think that looks pretty sweet. I might make it a little bit smaller. You can really make it as big or as small as you want. And then let's go to the outline and let's go more of a purple so it kind of stands out a little bit. Kind of when you use the colors based off your background, I think it, it makes it really nice. You want it to be fluent, but you want it to be to where people can really read it. All right, so let's go back. Let's go. Let's go with that black background right there. You want your title. You want your thumbnail to stand out. The first thing they're ever gonna see when they're going through a list of videos is the thumbnail. The thumbnail is what catches people's attention. So you want big bolded letters. That way it catches them. So now let's go YouTube here. Let's go outline, which is stroke. Let's go back to that pink. I like that pink. And then put that black shadow. And guys, you can really work this either way. You want it to, to be creative and put it exactly like you want. Now let's type in thumbnail. And as always, guys, they's got, they have multiple fonts. I didn't really show you in this video here, but they have multiple fonts that you can go and choose from yourself. You don't have to use this font that I've used. All right, so now that that's made, we're going to go down here after we hit Apply and Add Photo at the bottom of your screen. Once you hit Add Photo, you will choose the logo you want. I'm going to use this Pixar app. And then I slide to the right to border and we're going to make a nice white border that way it will pop put that outer all the way down then you've got the radius to where you can have those nice rounded edges you can make it small you can make it as big as you want let's go about this size here put it up in the corner make it a little bit bigger so it pops and then there you go all right so that's a really good tool that you can use with any photo images you have so now that we got this, we're going to go over here and we're going to hit the effects tab. And now what, what is crazy about the effects tab is they have so many different filters you can choose from. Let's go to magic here. And this is Flara, Pastel, Unload. Like there is so many different types of styles you can constantly change your thumbnails to. And that and it will change the colors and the way they pop and the way they way they look there is endless amount of ways that you can constantly change up 
any photo, any thumbnail you ever want. It, it, it's just a really cool app overall, and you can get a lot done. But let's go back to normal here. I'm going to go back to my recents. And also, like I say, they've got a recent tab. So, And I'm going to use this HDR, and you can tell it really makes it pop even more. kind of gives it that more high-def look. I'll do that, and then I'm going to go over here to the bottom right, scroll over, and I'm going to go lens flare. I, I really enjoy using the lens flare. So you can see there's multiple different uh, lens flares you can use, and you can just kind of be creative with it, you know, pick a couple different ones. We're going to use this red one right here at the top of the screen. Let's choose this, and you might be thinking, well, red's not going to go well. Well, once you get it to exactly how you want it, place it where you want it, then you go down here to the bottom, which says hue, and you're going to be able to really change that color exactly how you want it. You got yellow, you got green, blue, purple, pink. Let's go back to pink here. Blue looks pretty good as well, but let's go with pink here, as there's a lot of pink into this thumbnail. Once you hit that, hit apply, and then you're going to hit next in the top right corner, and then you hit save, and then download photo, and just like that, guys, you have just made yourself a, an awesome thumbnail that will catch people's attentions and will make them click on your videos, and by using this app, you're going to be able to be creative and constantly change up multiple thumbnails for your YouTube channel. Thank <laughs> you.